In this video, I'm gonna give you guys an eight week study plan that you can follow as you get ready for your next ACT. All I need to do is set aside around four or five hours per week for ACT prep and follow the plan and layout for you. And you guys will be ready for a great score on testing. Additionally, I'm gonna help uh, you understand some things like how many practice tests should I be taking? When should I be taking the practice tests? Where do I find those free practice tests? Uh, I'll also list the different concepts you should be working on each week, knowing the grammar rules, the math formulas, how to approach reading and science. And we'll also get into some of the common mistakes student make, uh, students make as they are leading up to test day. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Matt. I've been a full-time test prep tutor for the last nine years. I've helped, uh, I helped four students in 2022 get a perfect 36. I've had nine students total do it. And I've had many other students get fantastic results on their ACTs. So the study plan I'm laying out for you guys is the same type of approach I use for my private tutoring students. So I know it is going to deliver you guys great results. Now, before we get into the actual study plan, let's talk about resources. How are you going to prepare for your ACT? Well, the first thing we're going to talk about, of course, are practice ACTs. It's really, really important to practice with only official practice ACTs. And I put in the description of the video, there are links to four practice ACTs. These come from the ACT each year releases, like a preparing for the ACT guide, and they put a practice test in those. They repeat them some years, but from the last 10 years, there are four different practice tests they have used. So again, there are links to those down below that you can use uh, to go get your practice test we use in the study plan. If you guys do want additional practice tests, you can also buy a copy of this book on Amazon. It's basically the big red ACT book. There's a bunch more practice tests in there. So it's well worth the money if you have it to spend to just have more practice tests because the more practice tests you can do, the better prepared you will be for testing. Of course, as long as you're doing a good job of really studying and learning from those mistakes. Now, beyond that, what other materials can you use? Well, if you want to do free stuff, there's lots of uh, tutorials on YouTube. Um, there are some other, I mean, probably YouTube's the best place, so some good internet articles. Just make sure if you're going through those that you really are being kind of picky and really making sure that what you're being told makes sense. I've seen lots of videos and articles and blog posts about certain strategies for reading or certain explanations for maybe grammar rules that just really aren't that great. So just make sure you're careful with that. Of course, there's lots more I have on our channel here that can help you with some of those grammar rules and math formulas and, uh, and things like that. If you guys want to talk about books, um, as far as English goes, the one that I would use uh, if you're going to buy one off Amazon, Erica Meltzer has a good book. Um, I'll put a link to that one uh, below. Um, as far as math goes, uh, I'm actually about to publish a book that I think is going to be far and away the, uh, the best uh, basically book uh, for the ACT math. It's the most up to date. The problem with a lot of current ACT math books is they're kind of old and they're outdated. They've been like first published in 2012 and kind of updated and the ACT has changed over those last years. So uh, a lot of the current like best books are missing good chunks of certain topics and rules or equations that are actually pretty heavily featured on the ACT now. So uh, once that's published, like I said, it should be published in around two or so weeks from this video being posted. Uh, I'll put a link down below so you guys can always grab a copy of that. Uh, for reading, there's also another Erica Meltzer book. She's kind of the uh, the queen for the English and the reading stuff, so she has some pretty good ones there. And there's something called For the Love of ACT Science, which can be good. Uh, if you don't love learning from books, and that sounds difficult, I'll also talk a little bit later on. Uh, I teach something called an Ultimate ACT course, where I basically have uh, one. It includes our own books of English and reading and science, and of course the math one I mentioned. Uh, but also, it has lots of basic videos of me teaching the stuff. So now let's get to week one of the study plan, which you're going to see pop up on the screen here in a minute. Uh, one of the things I want you to do in week one is take a practice ACT. So if you've already taken an ACT before or you've done a practice one recently, that's great. Don't worry about that. But if you have not, that's definitely a great place to start. So you can go ahead and download that practice test number one I've linked down below, print that off and go ahead and work your way through. Just be sure when you're doing your practice ACT, number one, like I said, you do print it off. Having it actually as paper is helpful for scrolling back and forth on your computer or your iPad. Uh, and number two, make sure you time it strictly. One of the hardest things about the ACT is that, does, um, that it is a fast paced test. So you want to make sure that you don't give yourself an extra couple minutes. Really do be strict on that timing. Other thing I want you to do as you go through this test is any questions you're not sure about or you feel like you're guessing on, just circle those numbers. What you can do is as you go through and review your test and look at the questions you struggled on, make a list afterwards and kind of figure out, okay, what are the concepts? What are the math rules? What are the grammar rules? What types of questions on reading and science am I missing? It'll be a really good kind of place to start for you to kind of diagnose where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are, and we'll use that as we go forward. Now, what you can see on the screen is the week one study plan. So as you said, I already said on the right side, that's your practice ACT we want to work on. On the left side are the concepts we're going to learn. And we're going to start with a bunch of English and a little bit of math. The English is where I always start with students. It is one of the easiest things in week one to see your score improve a lot and really understand that English is a section. If you learn the grammar rules and the kind of the patterns of the test, it becomes super, super easy to improve your score a bunch. 
Now, everything you see in blue there about the independent, dependent clauses, phrases, sentence structure rules, semicolons, those are in blue because those are lessons that I will teach you 100% for free in the free trial and ultimate ACT course. So there's a link to that down in the description below. Uh, you can also learn about commas, uh, colons, and dashes. Again, a good ones to go through with math. This week, we're just going to start with some of the old stuff, geometry. It's a topic I see tons of students have just kind of forgotten how the geometry stuff works. You can kind of work your way through the list there and you'll be covered for the majority or pretty much all the geometry stuff you're going to see on test day. Ideally, what you want to do is take your practice test first on a weekend and then work through the rest of these if you can. If not, you can always do your concepts first and then go through the practice test on the weekend when you have time to do it in one big sitting. All right, now let's get to week two. In week two, you have no more practice tests. We're going to focus more on building the English skills and the math skills. So with English, we're going to work through some more of the core grammar stuff you need to know. Again, it's one of the easiest places to improve your score a bunch. So you can kind of work through the list that you see on the screen here. With math, we're going to be working through number one matrices. It's a super common topic that I see tons of students have never learned or you forgot it. Again, here it's in blue because the full lessons of me teaching the matrices and along with all the practice questions from the book are in that free trial multiple ACT course. Uh, everything else here we see as well, coordinate geometry, another classic topic that's pretty heavily tested in the ACT and one that a lot of students have kind of forgotten. So work your way through the list of all the different topics there, especially make sure you memorize that midpoint formula and that distance formula. It's ones that do come up a lot. A lot of times students are just like, uh-oh, I forgot what the equation was. Now in week three, we're going to continue to chip away at the math and get some reading stuff. Now you're going to see math is going to be on every single week of the study plan because the ACT tests so many math topics. There's stuff from Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry, uh, Pre-Calc, and basically much, much more. So every single week, we're just trying to add some more topics to your knowledge base. Some of them are going to be stuff you guys haven't learned before. Some might be stuff that's review. Again, just trying to build your math skills. We're also going to work on reading. So what I want you to do for reading is go ahead and watch the video I have. It's called How to Get a Perfect 36 on the ACT Reading. Trust me, it's not just for kids who want to get a 36. It will help anybody. It's going to go through and really kind of teach you just some basics about how the reading uh, test works. And the two goals I have for you this week is, number one, try and find what approach works for you. There's one approach that I'll uh, go through. It's called Label Then Read in that uh, video I just mentioned. That's one I developed. That's helped a lot of my students. But there are other approaches you can use. So try and find, number one, what approach works best for you. And number two, try and really understand what works best as you... Um, not what works best, sorry. Try to understand what's right versus wrong when you're in the answer choices. A lot of times it's easy to feel like, oh, maybe A is right, maybe is B is right. Try and again find that difference. What I want you to do this week is don't just sit down and do the reading test in one big sitting. Do what I'll call the nine minute drill. So basically set a timer for nine minutes and just work through one passage at a time. The ACT reading test has four passages. You can mess around with different approaches, different techniques. And once you're done with the passage, stop your timer, write down how long it took you. If you took a little more than nine minutes, it's okay. We're gonna get better as we go but go check your answers right away and just make some notes of okay cool i got stuck on that question i did well on this i didn't like this approach i'll try something else and just kind of mess around with it we're eventually going to find what is your favorite approach and what works for you and once you find the approach you like you're just going to repeat it over and over again as you do more practice sections and of course practice tests all right, we're now in week four, and the most exciting thing here is you're going to start working on some science. Now, the ACT science, if you really hate it during your practice test, when you've done one of these before, that's totally okay. It's not really a science test for anyone who's new to the ACT. It's more of a reading charts and graphs quickly test. My biggest advice for the ACT science is don't try and read and understand anything. You're going to go straight to the um, straight to the questions, kind of work your way backwards. That's what the majority of my students like. For this week, what I want you to do is watch my video on how to get a perfect 36 in HT Science. It's going to introduce you to the section and give you guys some good tips and pointers that you can apply as you work your way through. In addition, this week, we'll be doing some more math topics and a couple more English ones to keep improving your skill set there and pushing those scores higher and higher. All right, in week five, the exciting thing here is we're doing another practice test. Yay, practice ACTs. I know it's not fun to sit down on the weekend and do this test in one big three-hour sitting, but it's really important that you do set aside time and do the test in one big sitting if you can fit it in your schedule. It'll really help you build up that like testing endurance and focus so you feel ready for test day. We've also got a couple more math topics, as always, to knock off. So you can probably try and knock off some of those math topics during the week and then do your practice ACT over the weekend. The goal here is that uh, or the design is up to this point, you learned some grammar rules, some math forms, you've done some work with reading and science. So now we're hopefully gonna see, compared to that very first practice test in week one, we should hope to see a jump in your scores. And even if your scores don't jump a ton, you should at least feel more confident as we're building towards testing. All right, week six here is a little bit of a choose your own adventure. What I want you guys to do is take that feedback you got from your week five practice test and see where you need to work. Of course here, we do have a couple more English topics to learn. We have a couple more math topics. For reading and science, 
if you did really well in those sections or maybe you were like, oh man, I did amazing on reading, I really struggled in science, try and structure where you're focusing. If you did uh, order a copy of that red ACT book where that has a bunch of extra practice tests, that of course gives you more resources. I would highly recommend doing some more reading, doing some more science. If you're still struggling with time management, try some more of those nine minute drills we did for reading, some of those six minute drills that you did for the science. And again, just try and build those skills. If you felt really comfortable in those sections, you can of course do some more practice with the English, with the math. If you didn't get those books, you can really, again, focus more on reviewing those old practice tests since we do have a limited number of practice tests we're kind of being careful with in our study plan here. All right, in week seven, your main assignment is going to be taking another practice ACT this coming weekend. Now, before that, we have some more math topics to kind of knock through, so continue to work on those ones. And also this week, start doing some review. Look back at some of those old grammar rules, the math formulas. Look at your old practice ACTs you've taken. It's one of the most important things that my students who do the best are the ones who do the best job really reviewing and studying their practice ACTs and learning from those mistakes. When you take your test this weekend, really, again, try and use it as a dry run. Make sure that you go through and like do some review, know your rules, know your equations, set aside time to do it in the morning, take it in one big sitting. It's just really trying to simulate test day and then you'll be able to use this feedback of like, cool, I'm feeling good for my test or you know what, I gotta do a little more cramming and studying in week eight. All right, week eight, this is your review week. The plan here is you're gonna take the ACT this coming weekend. So in week eight, what you wanna be doing is just really going over all the stuff you've been working on over the last two or so months. Make sure you really know all your grammar rules, your math formulas, also really study those old practice tests. Again, my students who do the best are the ones who do the best job reviewing and basically learning from all those mistakes on old practice tests. So the goal here is again, you're just doing some reviewing, just doing some studying. If there's any, any stuff in the study plan you didn't get to yet, you can definitely work on some of that stuff during the week this week, but try and make sure once you get to like Friday, you're kind of just doing some quick review, you get a good night's sleep, you get up early and get to your test. And of course, hopefully it goes really, really well. All right, guys, I hope you found that study plan really, really helpful. Now, one thing you might be thinking is, okay, I saw all those concepts. How am I supposed to go figure all of these out on my own? Well, I do have a solution for you. It does cost a little bit of money, so it's not entirely free, but I mentioned earlier, I do have a free trial my Ultimate ACT course. It teaches you some of the stuff from weeks one and two, so you guys can definitely go check that out. If you wanna have me basically teach you guys everything in the study plan and much, much more, I do have something called my Ultimate ACT course, where it's just videos of me teaching you guys everything you need to know. It also includes copies of all of our books, so we have a book for ACT English, the math one I mentioned, we have a reading one and a science one as well. So it's really going to be a structured way of you to be able to go through and follow like this exact study plan or a slightly different one, depending on your level. There's a bunch of study plans in the course that you can use. And again, kind of get the experience of going through almost as me as like your kind of on-demand private tutor to teach you guys everything you need to know as we go through. Of course, I'll teach you guys content strategies, test taking tips, techniques, all the stuff that I've kind of perfected over uh, the last nine years of being a full-time tutor and having helped hundreds or honestly even probably thousands of students through this process. Um, of course, if you guys do want to do this for free on your own or want uh, a recommendation of other resources, please let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have in the comments down below. If there's anything about the study plan that isn't clear, isn't confusing, please let me do know down below. And additionally, if there's any other stuff you guys want to see me shoot in uh, upcoming YouTube videos, I'm always happy to hear back uh, from you guys and love to get suggestions of videos. Uh, other than that, this is Matt at Prepros. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Good luck on your next ACT. I hope this uh, eight-week study plan helps you guys get some fantastic scores.